Aggression from dogs towards other animals or adults is always unacceptable. But dog aggression towards kids is a true emergency. I'm heading to East LA to meet a father whose dog has become increasingly aggressive with his teenage son. As a father of two sons myself, I'm determined to stop this behavior as quickly as I can. Hi, I'm Brandon. And Jackson is uh, my 13-year-old son. He's just a great kid. I, I couldn't love him anymore. And I have two dogs, Kobe and Dodger. Dodger is a German Shepherd mix. He is four years old. Dodger's very calm, very fun, very affable, just a great all-around dog. Dodger was flying solo and, you know, seemed like he was a little bit bored. And so we wanted to get him a companion that he could play with and keep company. And uh, that's how Kobe came about. Kobe is 18 months old. He is a German Shepherd. Kobe is extremely affectionate and extremely loyal. Wherever I am, he wants to be. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, the first face I see is Kobe. Well, he's really playful and he's always excited. It's very fun. But when we got Kobe, I thought that he was gonna be more like Dodger. I couldn't have been more wrong about that. <laughs> He is aggressive and very protective. Walks with Kobe are extremely difficult. Just from his pulling, constant aggression. Kobe is constantly on alert for dogs behind gates, dogs inside of their own house, their dogs passing by. If the person comes too close, then it can be lunging. So when Kobe gets super riled up, Dodger will turn to him aggressively. And now they're both sort of feeding off of one another. Hey, leave it. Jackson and Kobe are like siblings. They get rough and tumble, and they play, and they will wrestle. It's just that when Kobe gets a little bit too aggressive for him, Jackson can't quite handle it. Ow. He just ripped my pants. He'll run after me and jump. He'll try and like grab my arm and like tug it around as hard as he can. And sometimes I'll fall over and like hurt myself. <laughs> I feel like he could very much hurt me. And I'll try and push him off me and say, no, Kobe, stop. He won't stop. It was kind of scary for me to see you in that situation. <laughs> to realize that Kobe had the ability to actually hurt somebody that I cared about, uh, that scares me a lot. I wouldn't want to have to rehome him. I love him. Jackson loves him. But you can't have an aggressive dog that is hurting people. And uh, it's been a lot, just trying to deal with the weight of it all. These aren't responsibilities that I can turn away from or hand off to somebody else. So I have to figure out a way to manage them without also burning out myself. 